part American Factory Stock Race of 2012. Out of turn four, green flag. Langmeyer, the 2010 champ, starting on the pole, trying to make it two championships in this. He's also the overall leader in the overall pass car championship. Brett running in second. Aldridge in third. Burks in fourth. Gillum running in fifth. One down, 19 to go. To Reagan already up to fifth. Now to Reagan, problems for Aldridge. He gets tagged by Burks. To Reagan up to third. And looks like Aldridge, he's one of the guys who's going to be in the Oil Twins Dominator race later in the night. He has problems. DeRegan trying to close on Vrett for the second place spot. DeRegan, 14 years old. Let's say, say the guy in seconds already collecting Social Security. Now move DeRegan to second. Leaders of 50 Fang Meyer, DeRegan running in second. We're racing. Nice cross under move by DeRegan, but he got hooked by Burks when he cut down in front of him, and it cost him. Kotman moves up to third. Gillum stopped outside turn number two in front of the Volvo rent sign. We're going to have to go yellow once again. To Reagan all over the leader. Sean McDonald reporting coming in again. To Reagan trying to go to the inside of Fangmeyer. Working lap 14. And Fangmeyer beats him back to turn number three. Burks right behind them, then it's Fred Kotman. Side banging off the corner. And new leader, it's DeRegan. Sangmeyer still running in second. Trouble. DeRegan sideways, Fangmeyer in him, upside down, we go red. And word from past car officials, 50 car is disqualified. <laughs> and we'll not score points in this one. Now Burks looks at the inside. Contact on the front straight. Oh, that's hurting. Burks and Gillum get together. And picks up his first ever main event victory. Noise for Fred Kopman out of Asperia. Ronnie? Well, you know, Scott, I've interviewed a lot of race car drivers.